So the big secret really is that Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to my living room. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. It's actually chilly outside. It's in the high 30s right now. Sun is shining. Sky is blue. It's just a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm sitting here on my couch in my living room. There's my picture of Errol Flynn and Basil Rathbone. And that actually is a print uh, of a drawing my great-grandmother drew many, many years ago. Um before I was born, and it's, we all, everyone in our family has a print of that, and my brother has the original at his house. I wanted to hop on and talk about this concept of the un- unveiling the mysteries, the secret teachings of Jeshua. The, the reason I wanted to talk about the secret teachings, if you go on YouTube right now, and you type in secret teachings, you're going to find a host of videos that is all about the secret teachings of Jesus, the secret teachings of Mary Magdalene, the secret teachings of Thomas, the secret teachings of Judas. You're going to find just video after video after video of secret teachings. All of these videos are based on secret teachings that were contemporary to the time. This idea of secret teachings in the here and now is uh, sort of a fallacy in regards that when you look at the idea of secret teachings in the modern time, the, nothing's that secret any longer. You know? But we all look for a mystery. We all, we all want to know something that somebody else doesn't know. We all want to find something that makes us feel like we've, we've learned something more about ourselves. But the reason why the teachings were secret was not because... They were meant to be unveiled in this time frame. Uh, They were actually secret because of the fact that they were heresy. They were heretical. In the time of of Jeshua, there were two ruling factions. There was the Sanhedrin, the the Jewish council, who were more the the, the religious sort of uh, ruler. And then there was the the Roman militaristic ruler. Now, when you really think about what these, what these two various power groups had, had in common is they both didn't want people to believe differently than they do or believe them not powerful. Uh, Jeshua's teachings were all about empowerment. And in Judaic belief, you know, God is above us and it's a very much a hierarchical vengeful and jealous God, as the, as the Old Testament and the Torah says, vengeful and jealous God. And Jeshua was talking God is love. Jeshua was talking about, you know, the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's your faith that heals you. Uh, you can ask mountains to move, it'll move. Nothing's impossible for you. He, he really was, he actually at one point says, ye are gods in the Bible. He was really empowering people to step into their own divinity and come to their oneness with God. You know, the Father and I are one. And he, he, was, he was doing it in such a way that people were waking up and really liking his message because they felt powerful. They felt good about what they were doing. They felt good about their lives. On the flip side of this, the Romans, they didn't want anybody to tell the people that they were subjugating that they're powerful. He didn't want the people thinking that they didn't need Roman rule, that, that, that this, this, this crazy guy was telling everybody that, you know, you, you know, leave to Caesar, which is Caesar's, you're powerful. He was literally telling people that they, that they had all the power within them. And what these other people were doing were based in fears and anxieties. So the secret teachings were, were kept secret in that time for fear of stoning, for fear of being killed. And there's, you know, there's many references in the Bible where Jeshua takes a couple people aside and, and in the Gnostic text as well takes people aside and shares with them the, the mysteries, right? So he shares those mysteries. They come back and people say, tell us what he said. And he says, if I tell you, you'll surely kill me. Because they were coming back and literally saying, it's heresy. If I, if you, if I tell you, and I, you know, I don't necessarily trust you, you might turn me in for heresy because I said something antithetical to either the religion or to the ruling militaristic power. So the teachings were secret because... At that time, they, were, they had to be secret. They had to be. 
but it's not something that's passed down through the generations of of um, people that there's these secrets that are supposed to be unlocked in our time. The secrets have always been there. They're, so they're now open. They're, they're out in the open. Over the past 20 years, as I've said on other videos, Christian churches have lost 54% of their congregations. Why is this? Because people are becoming empowered. People are stepping into that power that Jeshua talked about so long ago. I, you know, for every one person who gives me a, a negative comment or calls me the Antichrist, I get 500 who tell me, this is what I've always thought. This is what I've always believed. This totally resonates with me. Wow, I've searched for this truth for so long. They feel their empowerment. They feel their oneness with God. They feel that connection. In that time, it would have been heresy. These people would have been killed for even saying it out loud. But here we are. We're in the modern times. And now in the modern times, we're expected to live into our own personal faith. And the people who can't live into that faith, people who are stuck in those doctrines and dogmas, they are the ones who are getting loud and getting uh, screaming and yelling and hollering and calling names. They're the ones who literally are saying, uh, you have to believe as I do. They're the ones who are stuck in their box of their religion. And they're the ones who are disempowered by the religion that they follow. And there are no secret teachings any longer. The secrets are all out. The secrets are here and now. You are powerful. You're one with God. And God delivers exactly what you believe. And that's the big secret of Jeshua's teachings. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.